This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build your online presence. Well, ahoy there, cruisers, and welcome back on the beautiful Celebrity Beyond for our first ever cruise with Celebrity. In this episode, you are in for a treat because we are going to show you all of the dining, all of the delicious food from the complimentary dining, including the buffet and main dining rooms, to lots of the specialty dining as well. And there are some very cool dining options with Celebrity as well. Plus, we're going to talk about the drinks package and just have some fun on the ship. So let's go. Morning, David. Good morning, guys. Wow, oh, I slept well last night. The beds are super comfortable. I think they may have um, overtaken Princess now as the best bed at sea. Sorry, Princess. Celebrities got better beds than you because I slept like a baby. The and full, they're so big. The full-size king beds, which I haven't seen on any cruise ship before. They're not just queens, they are kings. Yeah, they're absolutely huge and just so comfortable. A little on the firmer side, but for me that is perfect. Oh, right, should we head down to breakfast and talk about what is available for breakfast here on Celebrity Cruises? So we've came up to the buffet for breakfast. Gosh, it's so huge up there. It's such a lovely space, floor to ceiling windows, so it's super bright, plenty of seating areas as well. And that buffet is legitimately huge. I haven't seen anything like it on any other cruise ship. Lots of little stations. When it comes to breakfast, there's a huge selection. Obviously, you've got all of your normal breakfast items, like a full American breakfast. And we even saw an English breakfast where they had English bacon, they had black pudding, yuck, and grilled tomatoes and things as well. You've got lots of fruit, lots of bread. There was plenty of pastries as well and sweet treats. They look absolutely delicious. Pan of chocolates and lovely little muffins and things like that. There's an eggs your way station as well. So you can get poached eggs or you can ask for an omelette to be cooked as well. And they'll make that fresh for you there as well. It was very busy. So expect away if you do want your own omelette. But yeah, everything on there. There was even a carvery station as well. Boiled eggs, scrambled eggs, eggs any way you want them. Lots of cereal as well well, waffles, pancakes, lots of sweets and treats. So the buffet is usually open till about 11 a.m. But after 10 a.m. it turns into a continental selection. So should we go and pick what we want? Because I'm really excited. I'm excited to see if the quality is as good as it looks. So I got my breakfast selection. Oh my gosh, that was almost like the jungle up there. It was chaos. It's very busy at the moment. So do be prepared for that. I just got a little salmon selection, a little frittata and some pastries. My gosh, the pastries look Amazing. Well baked, not dry, crispy, tasty, delicious. But let's try the frittata first. That was okay. It's a bit bland, to be honest. So I'm gonna go for the salmon next. I'm just gonna make myself a little sandwich. Perfectly stuffed croissant. The pastry is mwah, so good. Yep, picked my breakfast as well. Gotta say I'm super impressed with the selection. Like I said, there's a lot on there, which is really good. I went for a bit of everything, really. Potatoes for breakfast. Mm. Oh. They are yummy. They're like sw slightly sweet. They're like super delicious and yummy. But you know the most important thing of the day, guys, is the hash brown test, right? So let's have a little taste. They do look very circa Royal Caribbean, so let's have a try. They're the same hash browns as Royal Caribbean. Oniony, potatoey, crispy, cooked in triangular form. Beautiful. A beautiful triangular treat. Right, let's try some of this sausage as well. I went for some pork sausage. Oh, I see what you did there, Mr. Porky. That is lovely, super flavourful. It's got lots of spices in there. Corned beef hash looks positively radioactive. Look at the colour of that, it's bright orange. I don't know what they've done with it, but that is absolutely freaking yummy. Really good breakfast, but no breakfast will be complete without dessert, so I'm going to go get some now. How posh is this? I didn't even have to stand up to get a pastry because they come around with a little tray of them. I've gone for two. I went for a chocolate chip muffin and a lovely cherry danish as well. I've got to say the pastries on the ship so far, the ones that we've tried, are spectacular. I think I'm going to leave David and go and marry the pastry chef because it's beautiful. The chocolate chips are really big though, but there isn't many inside, but it is a really good muffin. Oh my God, that is the cherry on top of this meal. Delicious, the pastries are so, so good. What a lovely breakfast. And also for breakfast, and in fact, any time of the day, is the Cafe Al Bakhti, Bak I think they should, they should call it Cafe Al Butchered because I can't pronounce the name. Ba Bacchio? Bacchio? Bacchio. Cafe, the coffee shop is available uh, near the atrium and it has all your specialty coffees, but it also has sweet treats and snacks throughout the day and in the night as well. And they look delicious. So it's great if you just want a quick bite to eat. 
and they're at no extra cost as well, which is brilliant. Oh my gosh, I still can't get over this atrium. It's spread over three floors and it's amazing. It's like nothing I've seen on a cruise ship before. And one thing we've noticed with celebrity cruises, which are, we are really surprised about, is that it's always absolutely buzzing in here. There's so much life. Everybody stays up late, dances, have drinks. There's some amazing cocktail shows from the waiters as well. So they're always doing tricks and things. And it's buzzing. It is so full of life. Like we said in another video, it does have a slightly more mature crowd, but that is not stopping any anyone. Honestly, it's it, it's more active and, and fun on a night than any other cruise ship we've been on in a long time. But let's talk about those drinks packages because there are a few different drinks packages on board and they're slightly different to say cruise lines like uh, Norwegian Cruise Line and Royal Caribbean Cruise Line, who's the sister company. First up, we have the classic drinks package. Now this is the most standard drinks package and it includes things like beers, wines, cocktails, spirits, all up to the value of about $10. Now, lots of the cocktails are over $10, ranging from around $15 to $17, so you don't get all of the cocktails on that. And it is quite hard to see what's included whilst you're in a bar because there isn't much on the menu. It just shows the more expensive cocktails, so you would have to ask what's included. It also includes non-premium water as well and soft drinks. And what's great about the soft drinks are that they're cans, which is really great. So you can grab a few from a bar and put them in your own mini fridge, which is really awesome. So the classic package is usually $89 per person per day. So it's quite expensive, say to Royal Caribbean. The Royal Caribbean's normal premium drinks package is around that price. And we have noticed that drinks on board Celebrity are a few dollars more each than say Royal Caribbean, so do expect that. The second drinks package is the premium drinks package, and this includes everything on the classic package. So this includes drinks up to the value of $17. It also includes premium coffee, energy drinks, bottles of water, and premium juices as well. The premium drinks package is $109 per person per day, so it's about $20 extra on top of the classic drinks package. And the final drinks package is called the Zero Proof drinks package. And like the name, it's a non-alcoholic package. It comes in at $30 per person per day. Obviously, these prices can change, guys. This is just when we're on this cruise ship now in January 2000. In 23. That includes all of your soft drink options, so sodas. It even includes premium coffees, energy drinks, freshly squeezed juices and smoothies and frozen drinks and mocktails as well. So it basically includes everything non-alcoholic. So that's great for the kids and people who don't drink. We've just finished a sushi demonstration class which taught us how to make sushi rolls. It was really interesting. It was about a 45 minute demonstration here in Raw on Five, which is the uh, sushi and sashimi restaurant. The chef showed us how to make sushi rolls, explained all the ingredients, what they do to, to the rice and to all the different ingredients. He made it look super easy, but I'm guessing it's gonna be a lot harder when we try at home. Uh, you also got to try a little bit of sushi as well. So from the rolls that they were demonstrating, they brought down little samplers, which is great. So I'm gonna try a little bit of the tempura roll, which looks beautiful. Crispy and tasty. Love sushi. Yeah, this was such a cool experience. Even though I don't eat fish, it was awesome to see. The knife skills from that guy were just crazy. So this experience is $59 per person. And we're also going to go and cook some risotto as well. So we're gonna be cooking. Okay, we're gonna actually cook now. This is the first time I've actually been in a galley on a ship and cooked. It's, it's a really awesome. So we're gonna make our own risotto. So if it goes wrong, I've only got myself to blame. Okay, let's go. I've added my stock and my risotto. I'm gonna let it cook now. So you need to treat it gently and be patient as well because it does take time. This is genuinely one of the best things I've done on any cruise ship. How cool is this? We're cooking with a master chef. Right, gotta keep stirring my risotto, it's very important. It's, it's like a child, it needs a lot of attention. So I'm gonna get back to my cooking right now. Right, just about finished, put my butter in there, parmesan, mascarpone. It smells delicious. I've just added a bit of salt and pepper as well. I think we're ready to serve now. Shall I do this, David? My hat keeps falling off. I'm too tall to be a chef. Oh my gosh, guys, I cooked some risotto and it looks beautiful. Honestly, this is so much fun. Do like my hat, guys? Loving it. David's just plating his up now and then we're going to go over into the restaurant and give it a try. I'm excited for this. Let's see if we did a good job or not. 
With Squarespace, your online presence is just minutes away from becoming a reality. Don't let a lack of design experience or coding skills stop you. With everything all in one place and fantastic customer service to boot, building that perfect web page doesn't have to be difficult with Squarespace. They've got something suitable for everyone. Get ready to make a website that perfectly fits your aesthetic and professional needs. Choose from the unbeatable selection of templates, designer fonts and colour palettes. We especially we especially love the powerful blogging tools and SEO optimization to help grow our website fast. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com forward slash Ben and David to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. It was a step by step sort of thing and the chef showed us how to cook it at first and then we had to actually go into the kitchen and do it ourselves. How cool is that? We've never done that before on a cruise ship before or anywhere to be honest. I think that's the first ever time we cooked risotto as well. So should we go try it? It's got truffle butter in there. It's got some lovely mushrooms and white wine and all sorts. So I'm so excited. I am super impressed with myself. That genuinely is, I mean, we had a lot of help from the chef obviously, but that is genuinely absolutely blooming delicious. A really, really great experience that you can choose to do on board. You do have to book it, it is an extra charge, but by far the best experience ever. So what's best is all the money that is paid for this does not go to the cruise line, it actually goes to feed families in India. So we're each given an apron that is handmade by somebody in India and it actually had their name on it. And uh, the money all goes to feed 10 meals to a family in India. So that is the best resort I've ever tasted. That chef is amazing. <laughs> I've always been nervous about making risotto, but that was so much fun. I absolutely loved it and a really unique experience that we've never done on a cruise before. Oh yes, yeah, so we came to the coffee shop just for a little treat. They do an array of cocktails as well. So they've got coffee cocktails, which is very cool. Went for the popcorn cocktail. Oh my gosh, it's got little pieces of popcorn on top, guys. Should we have a little try? That is the weirdest thing I have ever tasted. It's like being in a movie theater and a bar at the same time. Perfect for viewing a movie. But yeah, they've got lots of lovely coffees and things in here as well, which is really great. Cheers. Right, feeling a bit peckish again now, are you guys? So let's head for some lunch in the main dining room. We're gonna eat in the Cosmopolitan. Ooh, so first impressions of this main dining room is that it's very bougie. It feels a lot like a sweet restaurant. We were just saying it looks a lot like Coastal Kitchen on Royal Caribbean. Looks very high end. We put our orders in as well. We've got a lovely bread basket. Looking forward to this lunch, it looks lovely. So I got a salad to start because I'm already still full from breakfast and sushi. Fresh, tasty, delicious salad. Ooh, and I went for the chicken and beef skewers and these look lovely. I do love a dish that comes with a handheld device so you don't have to use any utensils. It just saves all that effort of having to pick up a knife or fork. That is absolutely yummalicious, super tender. The satay sauce, which is like a peanut sauce, is wonderful. Such a good starter. I can already see the food on Celebrity is elevated compared to some of the other cruise lines we normally go on. It's lovely. So for my main course, I went for the seafood bruschetta, which is a selection of seafood. So we've got scallops and prawns on some saffron rice. That flavor is delicious, really garlicky. They've got a lot of flavor in the, um, the seafood. And the sticky rice at the bottom is super flavorful as well. It comes with some roasted tomatoes. Absolutely delicious, really good. Ooh, can't get it in my mouth. I think I'm gonna need a mint after this because it is pretty garlicky, sorry Ben. And all right, I can smell it from over here, David. You are gonna to need to remain two feet away from me. Anyway, I went for a nice favorite spaghetti bolognese. Everybody likes a good spaghetti bolognese, don't they? That is really yummy, lovely al dente pasta, a really nice bolognese sauce as well. The garlic bread is really crispy and delicious. Mamma mia, this is good. Dessert time, I'm a little bit disappointed actually because I read the menu and I thought it was gonna be something different. Um, I ordered the mousse and it came and it was a chocolate mousse. I actually wanted a, a real mousse. Oh, we're not in Canada. I know, anyway, let's see what this is like. Cheers. I guess I'm gonna have to use a spoon. That's nice, it's a dark chocolate mousse. Um, it's quite thick, it's not as creamy as I thought it would be. But it's good, it's a good dark chocolate mousse. And I went for the banana creme brulee. I don't think I've had a banana creme brulee before. That's really good. So it's like a creme brulee on top and then it's got like mushed up bananas on the bottom. Lovely smooth creme brulee as well. I've been really impressed with the main dining room for lunch. It's been really lovely. Definitely better than what I would find on Royal Caribbean, I think. So a little bit more elevated than that. What a great meal. 
And don't forget, one great space to come for lunch or breakfast is here in the Eden Cafe. Beautiful sandwiches, we've got really nice pastries as well as cakes and stuff as well. It looks really delicious and it's a lovely spot here in Eden. So just in between the meals, we did a little bit of an escape room trivia in the club and it was fantastic. So we had like an hour to figure out all of the clues and then open a box and we did it. We did it in the time. We didn't win because we weren't the fastest team. It did recommend a team of 10, but there were just five on our team. But it was so much fun, so much trivia and games and things to do on a CD. Really good. So before our next meal, oh my gosh, we've ate so much on this cruise. We came up at sunset to the Sunset Bar. This area is absolutely gorgeous. It feels like very Greek and Mediterranean. Lots of comfortable seating with some spectacular views all around. It's the perfect place to come for a pre-done cocktail. Cheers guys, got myself a Moscow Mule. I think it's possibly my favorite drink. I really do like ginger and vodka. So it's very simple, very classic. Oh, blooming lovely, love it. And they also do food here, so. They do little plates, little bites. There is a menu and they are an extra charge, but they look delicious. We're not gonna try them today because we do have dinner very, very soon. But if you do want a little bit of a drink and a snack, come up here and you can grab yourself a little uh, Greek plate. This evening we've come to the Fine Cut Steakhouse, which is the American steakhouse on board. It includes all the classics, including the different cuts of meat and all the delicious sides. Ooh, so the food has came. We've ordered two different starters. We've got the black pepper bacon, Basically, it's a big old slab of pig on your plate. That is absolutely delicious. To so do something similar on Royal Caribbean, but it definitely has a different taste. It's really lovely. Also went for some gnocchi as well, with bits of bacon on there as well. So very, very bacon heavy tonight. Let's have a little taste of this. It does look lovely. Presentation's fabulous. Perfection. Lovely start. It's a great start to the meal. So for my starters, we've got a little bit of a twist because it's not a shrimp cocktail. It's a lobster cocktail. That is a real difference. It tastes really summery, really fresh. I love how the fruit is and the yogurt at the bottom is delicious. And the beautiful pieces of lobster on top as well. I love it. I also got an arugula salad with a port wine sauce. It got some beautiful walnuts on there. Sweet, hot, tasty, that cheese is delicious. Really, really good. Oh my gosh, the main courses have came out and I've got a giant ribeye steak. My gosh, it's one of the biggest pieces of meat I've ever seen. Guys, the asparagus is insanely huge. It is the girthiest asparagus I have ever seen. We've also got some mashed potatoes, some bacon mac and cheese, and we've got some lovely truffle fries as well, which look like proper British chips. They're not fries, they're proper chips like oh. Mary Poppins. Mm -mm -mm. Lovely tender meat, cooked medium. Super, super tasty, even without the peppercorn sauce. Yummy, it's just far too big. It's bloody huge. It's a whopper. She must have been a really big cow, but thanks for your service. No. I went for the chicken, which comes in its own jus, and it comes in a bed of mashed potatoes. Let's tuck in. That's really good. Well cooked, really flavorful. Delicious creamy mashed potato on the bottom as well. Delish. Holy moly! It looks like a birthday cake. It, guys, I think it's got about 15 different types of ice cream in there. Brownie bits, caramel, a lovely little... It looks positively Games of Thrones-esque, Ben, with your big glass of mead. I'm excited to get into it. Let's have a try. Let's have a go. Oh my gosh, this, this is going to be good. This is so big, I think it's got the rest of the week in it as well. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. I was going to say, my ultimate Sunday is wearing sweatpants and watching reruns of Below Deck. Well, this is my ultimate Sunday. Holy moly, the ice cream and the flavours are delicious. The cream, caramel, brownies, absolutely blooming delicious. I got the peach cobbler and it comes with cinnamon ice cream on the top. Boiling hot. I really like the top, it's super crunchy and crumbly. Cinnamon ice cream, absolutely delicious. And the apple is really well cooked. Very similar to Royal Caribbean's um, Chops Grill. If you ever ate it there, the menu on here is very, very similar to that. So we finished our meal in the steakhouse now. Really good meal, but because the food is very good on Celebrity anyway, I'm not sure if I would recommend much specialty dining just because it's so expensive. So that meal for both of us, including a tip, was $150. Now that's quite expensive. That's what we would expect to pay on land without the being on a cruise really, whilst the food was very good. Personally, I think for the whole, I would stick to the main dining rooms 
and maybe just do a date night or one night in one of the specialty restaurants because they are very good. So basically what I'm trying to say is that we think that specialty restaurants on board should be an extra charge but they should be subsidized. They're getting very expensive now and this isn't just celebrity it's a lot of cruise lines we're seeing it wasn't long ago when specialty meals were around $25 for a cover charge. Now we're seeing three times that in just a few years. So do bear that in mind if you do want to eat. But remember, you do also have the option before you get on the cruise of picking a package of sort of three or five meals or unlimited meals. And it can often work out a lot cheaper than paying per restaurant. But hey, we're still a good meal, but expensive. So this evening, we're going to be doing something very different. We're going to be going to one of the extra pay specialty restaurants and it's called Le Petit Chef. It looks absolutely amazing and it looks like a complete experience. So should we head down and go? I'm very excited for this one. Yeah, this is going to be a new experience for us. It's something I've never ever done before. Never on a cruise ship or never on land as well. I love the decor on this ship. Really bright, spacious, modern. Feels really cool. And all the different artworks, so nice to see really brings a lot of texture to it. Take, take me out and talk about textures and things like that. You're hot, David. The ship is warm tonight. I need to bring a portable fan. <laughs> I just had a shower. It was the quickest shower ever. I was in and out in about three minutes. Thank God I don't have hair. Uh, bonjour, my friends, and welcome to Le Petit Chef. Wow, first impressions are amazing. All of the tables are lit up with animations. I've got a feeling this is going to be a really, really cool experience. The world's smallest chef, Le Petit Chef. There's always one bad apple who still hasn't figured out how to silence them for. Oh. At least you'll be able to make an interesting picture from your Instagram. This is amazing. Actually, most amazing thing of it's so life. cool. We just saw the Norwegian Prima go past and funny enough, we find that this ship feels a lot like the Prima, but obviously this came first. So we think there's been some copycats going on and a lot of the Prima was inspired, shall we say, by this cruise ship. Because it does feel very similar, the decor, the layout, but we feel like this does it a lot better. I am very rarely not able to find words that was freaking incredible. So our whole table just turned into an amazing, crazy projection show. It is legitimately amazing. I don't know if it's coming across on camera as well as it is in real life, but it is so detailed and high quality and vibrant sound effects and music and the whole restaurant's just transformed. Anyway, our first course, we've got a beautiful tart which has some 24 hour cooked tomatoes in it, all been hand peeled. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. Super sweet, tender tomatoes with that lovely sharp cheese and the pastry is really, really hard and beautifully cooked. Oh, all of the textures in my mouth, it's like a party. I don't know where to look. La présentation est magnifique. I loved it from my head, tomatoes, do you get it? Tomatoes. Tomatoes. So, so good. A lot better than I thought it was going to be. I absolutely love it. Now, there is two menus to choose from. So you have the standard menu, which goes with the projections, and there is the alternative menu called the other menu. And um, I've gone for the other menu so we can try a bit of both. And this first course is salmon gazpacho, and it looks absolutely beautiful. Oh, delish. Subtle flavour really tasty absolutely wonderful wow the animations are incredible guys i'm just loving the whole atmosphere it's it's surrounded with music and sounds and vision it's fantastic we went with the wine pairing as well which is really fantastic that's 25 dollars per person extra for my next course i've got the roasted beet salad comes with some pistachio olive oil and some lovely burrata cheese as well i'm going to go try it now nothing beats a beet that is absolutely a taste sensation. I'm zingling everywhere in my mouth. Oh, that burrata cheese as well is so lovely, combined with the pistachios. Really, really good food. This is super high-end stuff. It's, I'm, I'm a little bit blown away, to be honest. I really am blown away. It's blooming great. It's such a treat. I love it. It's so nice to try something new on a cruise ship. Yeah, I absolutely love the animations. It totally changes the scene as well between every course. We've got like an arty, jazzy music going on now. And the little chef was showing us how to plate a dish and make it look the best ever. So I'm learning a lot today as well. 
So my course is the poached shrimp and Persian cucumber salad with a lemon ginger lechi di tiger. I don't know what, quite what that is, but it's a take on a shrimp cocktail and it looks absolutely beautiful. Shrimp's beautifully cooked. What's nice, it's the crunch that you get from the, um, the crunchy bits around the outside is absolutely delicious. It's a very light, delicate shrimp cocktail. Honestly, I was a little bit worried it was going to be a bit rubbish because I was worried it would be a little bit style over substance with all of the animations and stuff but it truly isn't. Wow, the storyline is awesome. So Le Petit Chef, we saw him as a little boy working with his grandmother to make this very dish. It's a moosive piece of meat. It is absolutely massive. It looks delicious. Let's have a little try. Oh, it's just falling apart. It's delicious. It's got some mashed potatoes in there. That's getting the cow of the year award. Super tender. The gravy is absolutely yummy as well. And the little vegetables are super delicate and lovely. And we've got the world's hugest glass of wine as well. And oh, notes of perfection. Yummy. The alternative is the Branzino fish, which again looks absolutely massive and beautiful. So my Branzino's got a lovely crust on the outside and it comes with mashed potato on the bottom as well. Oh, that is delicious. The crust is so seasoned really well, really, really crispy and salty as well. Oh, David, put that knife down. It looked like you were going to cut me. The mash is super creamy and buttery. Absolutely wonderful. I'm going to take a sip of the wine as well at the same time. Oh gosh, how classy have we got guys look at us. We're like sophisticated people. So apparently the wine does cleanse your palate and it really does. My palate now feels completely fresh for another bite of the fish. Holy moly, we've got dancing carrots, we've got dancing avocados, we've got dancing wine bottles. This is just too much, guys. It really is, but we've got to dessert. And we've got a delicious Napoleon. So it's lots of cream and pastry and strawberries and white chocolate. Beautiful, so light and delicate. Truly is the cherry on top of what's been a really, really surprising and fantastic meal. Final bit of wine, we've got some lovely Moscato. Oh, ho, ho, monsieur, s'il vous plaît, de la monde. That is beautiful. It's sweet, it's freezing cold and chilled. Even the glass was chilled. Superb crew as well. The service has been nothing but spectacular. It really has been fantastic. It was $65 per person, which in my opinion is completely and utterly worth it. If you come on a celebrity cruise and this is on your ship, you have to do it, honestly, it's brilliant. And the alternative is a chocolate decadence, delightful deliciousness. The chocolate uh, whip is super light and the dark chocolate layers give it a crunch and I'm really punching through. Absolutely delicious, so good. Absolutely loved the experience. It is a real dining experience. The food is brilliant as well. So not only is it a great experience, it's fabulous food, which is such a fun thing to do. Oh. Wow. Oh, so after dinner, we went to the atrium and there was some fantastic juggling and cocktail making. So, so much fun. We had a bit of share singing on the loudspeakers and everybody got involved. Not the actual share. Not the actual share. We were expecting share to come down from the roof and start singing, but no. They were doing some amazing juggling and things with the cocktails. So talented. I haven't seen anything like that on a cruise before. And now there's a live band playing in there as well. There is so much going on all around the ship. Anyway, on to our next meal. So tonight we are eating in Eden. We have been looking forward to this so much. It's a really unusual venue. It's right at the back of the ship. Really looking forward to this, guys. You can even see the chefs behind us preparing the food. It's a completely open kitchen, which is really awesome. So let's eat, shall we? We've been presented with an egg-shaped butter and a, a bread roll that she said was famous in Boston. Delicious. So the amuse bouche for tonight is a smoked salmon with Mexican tomatoes and a wasabi mayonnaise on top. Really fresh tasting smoked salmon. The salsa at the bottom, which is like onions and tomatoes, is absolutely delicious. Really great way to start the meal. Yeah, it's a great way to start your meal if you eat fish. I don't eat fish, I'm just going to look at it. I'd be starving. So we got the bizarre bowl to start. And that is a Greek-inspired dish. 
that is freaking delicious. The naan bread is like salty, it's warm, fluffy. It's got like a paprika salt on there and it goes deliciously well with the bowl. So the bowl has got a yogurt in there. Absolutely amazing. Wow, the presentation looks just beautiful. I've went for the mulga tawani soup, probably butchered the name, but it's from Sri Lanka. Hit me with a bat and call me a fractured arm. That is absolutely delicious, so tasty, so many textures and flavors. It is super, super yummy. And the cocktails have arrived at the table as well, and they have some really special ones, some very magical cocktails. We went for three different ones. The first one is a pea cocktail. Yes, it actually has peas in it, and it's filled with gin as well. Then there's a rum cocktail as well, which is really cool. It has a little piece of cinnamon in there that the satellite, so it's basically a little cigar. Then the third one is like a bourbon tea cocktail with Earl Grey, and it sort of spins around and they sort of pour in the drink with a kettle. It's very cool, very magical. Anyway, I'm really interested to taste this pea one because it looks so blooming unusual. Should we have a little try? Peas in a cocktail, it just doesn't sound right, does it? But shut the balcony door. It's freaking delicious. It does not taste like peas. I'm just trying to think of the flavor. I can't, I legitimately can't describe the flavor. Not getting any peas, but it's a very unique flavor, but I, I, I legitimately can't describe it. It's freaking delicious. So this cocktail includes bourbon, honey syrup, lemon juice and aromatic bitters. It's a, quite a refreshing cocktail actually for a, a, a bourbon based cocktail and it tastes really light on the, the palate. Get me light on the palate, I sound like a right posh person. Well slap my thighs and call me Monica Lewinsky because that tastes like Bill Clinton. It really does. If I, if I could describe a drink as Bill Clinton, that would be it. Like a little bit smoky, a little bit tasty. You can definitely taste the, the, the rum. A little bit sour, a little bit bitter. Cheers, guys. That's, that's quite delicious. It feels like a Michelin star restaurant. It really does. I went for the tandoori star beef with shredded vegetables, polenta, hot tomato spice marinade. Now, what on the seven seas is that? So the beef is super, super tender and delicious, but there's a little bit of a lack of flavor. Borderline bland. It's a little bit bland. It feels like it doesn't have any sort of salty or heat. Whilst it's really cooked well, it's a bit, yeah, a bit bland really, which is a bit disappointing. But hey, it looks delicious anyway. So I've got the crab cake, which comes in a beautiful breadcrumb, includes a chipotle mayonnaise around the outside, and also a red pepper sauce on the side as well. Crab's really nice, really well cooked. I love the flavor of the sauce around the outside. But out of the two starters, I have to say, the Bizarre Bowl was much better, it had much more flavor. But this is really nice. You can tell it's got a lot of crab in there. You can literally see it. It's absolutely packed full of crab. Oh, so we've got another round of cocktails. First up, we've got the Velt. It's got mezcal and vedita, whatever that is, and it comes in a lovely little box and it all smokes when it opens up, so it's a little bit theatrical. Oh, joy! I don't know what I've just experienced there, guys. That's like legitimately burning all of the way down. It's burned my tonsils. I can feel it slowly going down my esophagus or whatever it's called. That was legitimately like drinking a cigar. It is so, so smoky and so bitter. Probably the most unique cocktail I've ever tasted. I really don't know if I love it or hate it, but it's definitely a thing. And I went for the tea, which is called Clouds, and it is silver cacaccia. I'm not sure what that is. And it calls, also includes lemon. Oh, again, very light, refreshing very zesty, it almost tastes like sweets, almost like a lemon drop sweet, really delicious. Oh, so the main course is of Kim. I'm having to speak a little bit louder because just above us, the Eden show is starting. It's an amazing show all set around this area. I went for the oven roasted chicken and boy, does it look delicious. Duck fat potatoes, apricot roasting juice, fennel salad and pickled mustard. Let's have a try, shall we? Absolutely delicious. So many different flavors and the most tenderest of chicken. Beautiful. I went for the red snapper in a crispy bread crumb and it looks beautiful with a crispy bread skin on the outside. 
That breadcrumb is so tasty. It really does add a crunch to it. Sweet, it's delicious. When you add it all together, it makes a fantastic meal because you've got the breadcrumb, the beautiful fish, and the really sweet sauce at the bottom. So we finished our meal in Eden. You didn't see the desserts just because the show had started. We ordered every dessert and honestly, they were really, really yummy. We had a lemon tart. We had a chocolate dessert, which was a little bit spicy. Carrot and brandy snap creme brulee. And finally, we had a strawberry parfait kind of thing. All really good. Overall, a really fantastic meal. $75 per person after tax. The only thing that we didn't like is that the show started halfway through our meal and it was so, so, so loud. So it kind of, so we were kind of shouting at each other and stuff as well. And you don't get a view of the show as well if you're eating in the restaurant as well. That's something that we thought we would get, but we'll definitely be back to see the show later on. And of course we tried out the main dining room lots of times and the food was great on an evening. That's it for this video. We hope you enjoyed all of the food on Celebrity Cruises. Please hit that subscribe button and like button. It really helps us out. And a big thank you to all of our patrons as well. By becoming a patron, you get extra videos like behind the scenes videos, extra episodes, early access to our videos, ad free videos, and a monthly Zoom call. You can find out about becoming a patron in the comment section below. That's it till next time. Happy cruising.